Hello Virgo, welcome back to Surviving with Carrie. Back again with another tarot card reading here for you. Virgo, this tarot reading is going to be for money and career uh, predictions and forecasts for March 2021. Okay, so we're going to look into tarot to figure out your horoscope and what this month has for you and in uh, money and career okay so we're just gonna tune into the energies here i will be pulling out lots of tarot and oracle cards of course okay so we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into this actually i'm gonna need my tarot cards so let me put those there move these cards out of the way i'm sending you nothing but love and abundance okay let's go ahead and start off with the little mermaid oracle here for virgo sun moon and ascendant we get dive and meditate okay so with dive, you don't find pearls on the seashore. This is telling me that you're going to probably have to work a little extra harder or putting put in a little bit extra work to get to where you want to be this month. But whatever you're working on will be very successful because you will be taking the initiative into something new maybe, okay? With meditate, make some quiet time and make some quiet time in the still air. So Virgo, this is telling me that you may need um, extra time to recuperate and recharge your energies this month. So make sure you don't ignore those signs. Okay, let's go ahead and tune into tarot for Virgo. Sun, North Node. Okay, rising and maybe you're even your MC if you know what that is. Okay, let's go ahead and tune in for Virgo. What does Virgo have for them for money and career? Money and career for Virgo, Sun, Rising, North Node, and MC. Um, I can also say you can watch from your Jupiter, but I don't know. I really don't know. So here we get the Four of Wands. A lot of balance coming towards you when it comes to your career and your relationships, okay? Or your career relationships or your business relationships with other people. Wow, very beautiful with the King of Coins here that you've shown up as the King. You've totally um, passed pass through um the the queen okay so you're you're standing here as a king very abundant okay very happy maybe the job that you're in or this new creative idea that you have started because i feel like you have started and you have found some middle ground um maybe this is a new job maybe some of you guys are starting a new um side gig whatever this is this month it looks very promising very balanced with the four of wands here it's a good time to make investments or you know um start investing in something that you really love okay so for example um you put yourself out in the public eye it's a good thing to invest in yourself right um presence is always very um looked after especially when you speak to the public eye i mean that's not always necessary right but i'm just speaking of something you really love here that can be nurtured okay um this can be a new job venture like i said and that's that's looking very promising here i feel like you're laying down the roots um towards something new and you're really going deep deep into um whether it's your subconscious or yourself to see what it is you want to do Okay, for some of you, you are already doing the dream job you you want to be doing. Okay, for some of you, are, you're already doing that, Virgo, and I can see that here. But with the King of Coins, expect tremendous abundance, especially towards the middle of the month. Now, keep in mind, tremendous abundance doesn't always mean money. It just means complete happiness. Okay, with the King of Coins here strength card okay so towards the end of the month it's going to require for you to be um a little bit more persistent than usual okay stay on track and um it, you'll you'll probably be required like i said to take a break because with the strength card here you, you will be working a lot or you will be um putting in a lot of work into something that you love that's going to be very um it's going to bring in a lot of abundance, Virgo. So it's going to require for you to recharge. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here with the strength card towards the end of the month. And then you also get the eight of coins. Okay, mastering something. That's just what you're becoming. You're becoming a master of your work, your career, your abundance. You're learning how to manifest everything you want into your life. And this is what's going to um, just set you on the path to be a, a king of your own life. Okay, whether you're female or male here, it doesn't matter. Tarot doesn't look at gender. But with the eight of coins here, you're mastering mastering something okay especially towards the end of the month it's going to take work it's going to take diligence it's also going to take a lot of nurturing and caring for so like i said if you are starting a business or you're um learning something new even like you're going back to school to study something it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort but 
you know, you're, you're going somewhere with this. And in, with the eight of coins here, that's working towards the nine of coins. And the nine of coins talks about um, enjoying the fruits of your labor and reaping what you sow. Okay, so you're definitely working towards that. And I see you going um, into this pre-empress, quote unquote, or what some tarot readers say, right? Um, energy where you're going to be very abundant. You're going to have learned all the lessons or learned everything you needed to know in a certain topic that you're maybe studying on or that you're jumping into here. And maybe I see you being, I see your career or your money situation really um, taking a a leap forward this month and so maybe towards the summer is when you're going to start to see the major benefits of all the work you have been putting in because with the strength card here i do see you putting in work and i see you working towards something here okay it might be a little painful and it might be a little enduring okay it's going to test your patience a little bit virgo but that's okay because at the end of the day your hard work will pay off just remember to stay grounded okay especially around this time um, these next two weeks or next week, stay grounded, go outside, go in nature and spend some time in nature or with loved ones that are going to make you feel happy. Okay. Just to balance out, um, all the high energy of all the work you've been putting in. So let's go ahead and see. There we go. Um, with the four of swords here, um, you may be feeling a little impatient is what I'm seeing, but that's not, there's nothing to worry about with that. I feel like as long as you try to find that balance, you know, spending time with loved ones, going outside, taking some nature walks, you're going to be okay. So let's go ahead and see. Um, this is a work your light oracle. So this is just going to give us a little bit more clarity on what's going on around you. So let's see for Virgo, please. All signs of Virgo. What's going on around Virgo? Beautiful. So, wow. So you get leap, you go first, the universe will catch you. This is giving me that that dive, like just jump into things this month, okay? Try new things as well when it comes to money. If you feel like you need to invest in something or you feel like you need to start a side business or you have this great, beautiful idea, this creative idea, maybe with you and your partner, you just want to start something or maybe you're saving your money and you're just about ready to um, put the money where you need to. You know, some of you may be buying a home. Um, I feel like this is something that you and your partner have been wanting for a while. I think that's th that's something I see here too, like changing homes. Okay, a lot of work, a lot of a lot of different different energies I get here for you guys. You're definitely working on something with someone here. Okay, this may be your special person, or it just might be you by yourself. With Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So this is you know always trust your intuition and where you're being led. Okay, because obviously you're being led somewhere here with these two cards. And then you also get keepers of the earth. You're not alone. Ancient ancestors stand besides you. So this this goes very well with the roots card. Okay, I feel like your ancestors or your guides. Have have been guiding you in a certain direction and maybe it's why you've gotten to where you are okay maybe you're starting to learn more about where you came from or your roots okay and and don't ever doubt that because whatever it is that has been going on in your life Virgo I feel like it's definitely divinely guided okay so never doubt that let's go ahead and put that there Actually, I'm going to put this like that. I like that card. All right, so let's see. So these are for my star seeds, okay? You don't have to be a star seed to resonate with this, just so you know. But these are for the people that resonate with star seeds or indigos or anything on that note. Um, if you don't know what a star seed is, just go ahead and look it up on YouTube. There's tons of videos on that. But let's go ahead and tune in to see what what's up for my star seeds if anybody is out here that has a double mission here on earth which i can see definitely for some of you um some of you may be may be very abundant in a in a regular job and others of you um have these two jobs one of which is more creative than the other so let's go ahead and see fall into my arms surrender holding the opposites extremes of life so definitely just surrender to what's going on you're being divinely guided into the right situation and um, don't worry, don't worry about it too much. I don't think so because with dive and being led somewhere here, it's more like just stay on your path. You're on the right path. Okay. Don't worry about it too much. So let's get one more. Oh, we got two more. That works. So here we get the great servicing, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Like I said, um, for some of you, like I know this is money and career, but money and career abundance in general can come in many forms. And this is why I try to touch up on all the energies. Um, the, the message I'm getting here right now is that there's something um, you're probably discovering about your ancestry line or your ancestors. Okay, this may be um, 
making you a little bit conflicted or giving you conflicted energy. That might just be a special message for some of you, okay? So I just figured I'd point that out. Earth school, life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. This is another energy I'm getting from you guys. You guys have been steadily um, on the right track of learning, going to school or teaching yourselves um, higher knowledge or deeper knowledge. I just say not higher, but deeper, you know, where it's a lot more... Um, a lot more it's gonna bring you in it's gonna bring in the right people it's gonna bring in the right connections as well so keep doing what you're doing virgo this month of march let's go see what you need to surrender what does virgo need to surrender this month or what does virgo need to surrender to for march 2021 wow can't even shuffle right now so we get surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, quote unquote. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So whatever answers you've been searching for or going deep into, whatever you're searching for this month, um, if it is that you're searching for a path to make more money or you're, you're searching for a certain result with a um, new venture you started let's let's just say that um try not to attach yourself to the results of it okay because that can be a little disappointing if you don't get the results that you were expecting right so let's virgo let's get one more so here we get surrender outdated beliefs about yourself let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past then you can own your power and soar in your life Okay, so whatever it is that maybe were, was deep embedded in you since you were a child, maybe like, oh, you'll never be rich or you will never be abundant. That's all programming um, from childhood. And I feel like it's definitely something we all can let go of because it's never going to be any of any service to us if we're trying to grow in any in any type of way right it's like if you have a dead mentality or or no ambition to get somewhere where you want to be and you feel like life is all about hard work all the time um i feel like there's ways you can switch your energy up to um possibly start some new beliefs for yourself okay so this is what's affecting you this month um you may need to speak up whether this is with coworkers or people who you work with just always voice and express your opinion it's going to make you feel better at the end of the day okay and let's get the solution please solution for virgo solution for virgo here we get um lesson wisdom through mistakes so you may be maybe getting some some learning lessons here on on different avenues that you invested in this month whatever the case is learn through everything okay like i said there's some teaching here there's there's maybe you're a teacher maybe you're doing the teaching or maybe there's a teacher here for you but whatever the case is you're divinely guided and you got that twice so just trust that wherever you're led um this month with money and career or if you're looking into making a job change or changing your job or something like that go ahead and do whatever you feel like you need to do okay because i i honestly feel like you're being very divinely guided here all right so let's go ahead and pull out the at spirit animal for the month for you and then we will end your reading there okay virgo oh that was pretty quick so i got two cards here so first card we get is the owl so this may be a spirit guide for you okay very deep this is this is another kind of spirit guide that shows up in our lives right but with the golden egg wow let's look into both of those because i can't quite remember the owl i know is very spiritual very um intuitive so let's see the owl gives us abundance wow so expect major abundance with this owl card and this golden egg you guys i'm telling you and you got the king of coins you're going to be very abundant you're going to start to see the the benefits of that very soon here with the golden egg and the owl card that have shown up the owl indicates abundance clairvoyance and treasures so some of you may be diving in deep with with um psychic abilities and that's a form of abundance that's showing up into your life Keep in mind, like I said, it's not only about the material money, but also about what spirit blesses us with. So you'll get generous, trusting, and secure. Secure the bag, honey. You got this with the golden egg. This is a very abundant um, spirit animal with the golden egg. Let's go ahead and read into it really quick. Yeah. 
Message at the heart, uh, sorry, message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. So this is telling us very interesting this, so this is telling uh, to me just because this is golden egg there's something you're going to discover here maybe about your past or about a friend maybe an old friend will reach out to you i know that's kind of a weird message for this kind of reading but just go ahead and trust that because this whole reading talks about there's guides guiding you in a certain direction there's going to be a golden opportunity or it's almost like the timing is just right for something and i can't quite point that out to you of what it is Virgo but just go ahead and trust whatever it is that you're being led to or in the direction that you're leading into um that didn't make sense but whatever you know what I mean Virgo that is all I have for you but actually I am going to pull out one more little sparks of balance kindness and whatever else wants to come out here so I'll take those so you get three of them volunteer your time or donate to a good cause um generally virgos love to do um things like this because you guys are very caring and nurturing in general so i feel like that's probably something you already do this is for you and your honey okay if you're with somebody already or you have a special person you're interested in you get the four of wands here maybe there's a marriage or something you're going into but give each other naughty nicknames to use in the bedroom so i know that sounds i don't know that sounds kind of cute and corny at the same time i don't know <laughs> research a new meditation or healing practice for something you struggle with so this is definitely another sign that you need to take note into meditating this month okay and staying grounded so that is all i have for you virgo thank you so much for tuning in i will see you guys at your next reading or your next sign Bye bye